What's going on everyone? I appreciate you joining me for this week's hottest sneaker releases. I will be covering the US and European markets, but before I do that, if this is your first time watching or you've been watching a while, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are almost at a thousand subscribers and really the fun has just started. So hit that notification bell so you get all my latest videos. So in the future, I want to do more content such as mystery boxes, so stick around for the fun. This week for the US, we're going to start off with a re-release of the Nike Dunk Toasty. This is in the Sequoia and Orange Swoosh, and it has the corduroy material on it. These will be available on May 10th for $110. Even though I think this is an autumn time sneaker, I believe this can be rocked at any time. On May 11th, the Jordan 6 Midnight Navy is going to be dropping. Although this is not my favorite colorway of the Jordan 6s, it is a clean shoe. The Navy hitch with that translucent bottom really does make the color pop. And if you do like these, you can pick these up for $200. So New Balance has really been stepping up their game. With such collabs with Joe Freshgood and others, these other brands really do need to step up. Now speaking of New Balance, they got a new collab coming out with JJJ Jown and the New Balance 990 V3s. Now with the hits of black and browns, this is a super clean colorway. Although to me, I think this is a winter color. I think there's enough neutrals in this though that you can rock it at any point. You're going to be able to pick these up for $250 at the New Balance store, but I got to warn you, these are going to sell out quick. Moving on to May 12th, you have the Nike Air Max Marina dropping. Super clean colorway, and it's ready for summer with these teals and blues in it. And you're going to be able to grab these for $130. Also on May 12th, there are two re-releases of Nike Dunk Lows. The first one is the Nike Dunk Low in the gym red. Super vibrant red on this, and it has a tumbled leather look. And you're going to be able to pick these up for $100. And the next one is the Nike Dunk Low Team Red. This is a bit more of a muted red to it, almost a maroon color. And in my opinion, it is much more wearable. And you're gonna be able to pick these up for $100. And to finish this off on May 12th, you have another A Cold and Converse collab. And this is gonna be in the green apple and black colorway. I talked about these before, that they remind me of the Nike Adapt. I don't really see these flying off shelves, but if you do like these, and it does have a futuristic look, you can pick these up for $160. If you happen to like Air Force One mids, then this next release is going to be for you. On May 13, Stussy and Nike are collabing again for this Air Force One mid. This will be dropping for both the US and Europe. They have some nice touches on them, such as the Stussy branding on the Velcro and the tongue also showing the branding from the Stussy and Nike collab. But what I like the most is the button in the back. Very well done. It even has a perforated design on the toe box. Very nice touch. I have not been able to find an official price yet, but if I had to take a guess from past releases, these are going to drop in about $150. On May 14th is a really big day. The Air Jordan 3 in the Neapolitan is dropping in both the US and the EU markets. This is a really great looking shoe and definitely gives me the vibes of the Amamanir AJ3 collabs. The dark mocha elephant prints and the hits of the sail and atmosphere really set this off. I wish these were coming out in a full family sizes, but it appears the ladies will be able to enjoy these. You're going to be able to pick these up for 200. Also on May 14th, the Jordan 11 low in the 7210. Now this commemorates the Chicago Bulls winning season of the 95-96 season where they had 72 wins and 10 losses. Now they did get overtaken by the Golden State Warriors in 2016, which they had just one more win, one less loss. So they were 73 and nine, I believe. Although I'm not a fan of this particular low, I do like the history behind it. You'll be able to grab these for $190. And to finish us off on May 14th and for the U.S. releases, 
It is expected that the Jordan 5 collab with Clot will be dropping. This is a nice colorway that has taken inspiration from the Chinese culture. With the hits of red and jade on this black silhouette, it really is a nice looking sneaker. My only complaint on these, and is something that I mentioned in the Jade Horizon uh, Jordan 5s, is the lace lock. I mean, I don't know how to put it, but it looks like a snot bubble. Maybe you should change that. Everything else on this sneaker though is straight fire. And I really do like this and will try to go get these. Although I don't see an official price for these yet, I can imagine they're going to be around the 220 And that will round us off for the US releases, but we're going to move right into the European sneaker releases. Europe is coming with some straight heat this week for some releases. Besides the AJ3 and Stussies that we already talked about, there's a whole list here that is just straight fire. On Monday, we're going to start out with the Inside Out collection. Now these are coming in two different silhouettes, the Air Jordan 1 Lows and the Air Jordan 1 Mids. Now these are super clean colorways just in time for spring and summer. There are some slight differences of them around the toe box and heels. You're going to be able to pick up the Air Jordan Low 1s for $120 and the Air Jordan 1 Mids for $130. I think I will at least be adding the Air Jordan 1 Lows to my collection. There's also another Air Jordan 1 low dropping in the wash teal colorway. This really pairs nicely with the sail colorway. And with the teal bottoms, this makes it a very wearable kick. Now these are coming in women's sizes only. These will run for 110 euro. Also on Monday, you have the women's Nike Dunk Low in the Easter colorway. Now it's not too late to pick these up, even though they are the Easter colorways, because this clean pastel color blocking really does hit nice for the springtime. And you're going to be able to snag these up for 100 euro. Now, if you were with me last week, you heard me talking about this shoe. So on Tuesday, the Nike Presto and the Hello Kitty collab is dropping. This was pushed back from last week to this week. This will be dropping on the 10th alongside of a bunch of apparel dropping, including a pretty dope hoodie. You're going to be able to pick up this collab with Hello Kitty for 135 euro. Good luck. Like I mentioned last week, they're probably going to sell out pretty quick, including the apparel. So if you like it, go get it as fast as you can. On May 11th, you have the entire lineup of the M&M and Adidas Forum dropping. I love the concept of these shoes. And if you like wearing a bag of M&Ms on your feet, these are the ones for you. You're going to be able to pick each one of these up for 150 euro. Now on May 12th, this shoe is something I'm anticipating a bit is the Jordan 5 in the Easter colorway. I absolutely love the pastel colors of these. Now this shoe though does remind me of the DJ Khaled collab that he's coming out with. I happen to think that maybe there's some inspiration from this particular shoe, but maybe that's just my own thought. Now these will be coming out in the grade school in men's sizing. And you're going to be able to pick up the grade school for 140 euro. You're going to be able to pick up the men's for 210 euro. I will get them and I'll review them for you. Now there is also an unconfirmed release on May 12th of the Jordan 4 infrareds. The grade school did already drop. And if this does get released, it's going to be huge. People have been waiting on these Jordan 4 infrareds for quite some time. And who can blame them with the two-tone grays and that hit of the infrared in the eyelets, it's a clean shoe. I will be trying to get these if they are confirmed. Now, if they do drop, you'll be able to pick these up for 200 euro. And if you want these, make sure you're paying attention to the Nikes or sneakers app as they may do a shock drop. And you can already tell the demand for these is skyrocketing. Just take a look at these StockX prices. As I talked about this already, New Balance is coming out with another Joe Fresh Good collab, and this is in the 2002R Conversation Among Us is the theme, and damn these shoes are sexy. I love the hits of the sale with the yellow and oranges. I gotta be honest, Joe Fresh Good has made me a believer in the New Balance brand and what they're coming up with. I will be picking these up for my own personal collection, as this will be my first Joe Fresh Good, hopefully. I pick them up. I was not able to get the others as the 
resale value of those have skyrocketed. You're going to be able to pick these up for 130 euro. And to finish this off for May 14th, there's two different sneakers dropping. The first one is the Air Jordan 1 High in the Stage Haze. With the black, white, and grays, it really does hit just a little bit different. We have definitely seen this color blocking before, but you best believe these highs will sell out quick. But if you want to try to get them, you can pick them up for 160 euro. And to finish this off is a very unique Nike Dunk Low in the Ocean colorway. I love how the hits of the teal with the tumbled leather really makes it look like a wave. And then if you look at the bottoms of those with the mix of the white and teal, I really do like that hit. Now these are in men's sizing and you're going to be able to pick these up for 110 euro. Well that will wrap us up for the hottest sneakers of this week that are releasing. And if you're copping any of these sneakers, please hit that like and comment button down below and let me know which ones you're trying for.